in relation to the murder of Jeff Mundy. Jeff was 36 years old and was last seen on the 19th of December 2020. It's been confirmed that on the 19th he was seen at the Seaford Interchange, then at the Colonnades Shopping Centre, and we now believe that he was also seen later that day at Alexander Street at Selex Beach. The premises at 60 Murray Road, we believe Jeff was held there against his will in a container prior to, in the weeks prior to his death and murder. We know that this premise is frequented by low-level drug users and low-level drug dealers, and we believe that a number of people have been involved in not only Jeff's murder, but also the disposal of his body. We believe that the people that were involved in his murder, though, may not necessarily have been involved in the disposal of his body, and there may be separate or multiple suspects involved in those roles. Major Crime are also exploring um, the involvement of members of drug syndicates in the Lonsdale area, Aldinga and Selix Beach, and their role in Jeff's murder and his disappearance. Today, police have located a firearm, we've located a taser, we've located a hydroponic cannabis crop, and we've located three shipping containers of illegal fireworks. The investigation is continuing to identify those responsible for possession of those items at this location and we currently have Safe Work SA supporting SAPOL to ensure that the site is safe in relation to the fireworks. Forensic response are also in attendance at this location and they're conducting examinations of areas within the premises but I won't comment any further on what their role is here currently today. We're seeking anyone that has knowledge of Jeff's murder, disposal of his body, or the reason why he was murdered. I'd like to reinforce in relation to Jeff's murder, there is a $200,000 award, so payable up to $200,000, for any information that would lead to convictions for Jeff's murder, or the recovery of his body. I ask that if anyone is concerned about their safety and has information in relation to Jeff's murder, that they contact Crime Stoppers tonight between 5pm and 9pm and speak to Task Force Southern investigators. Okay, I ask that if anyone has information in relation to Jeff's murder that they contact uh, Crime Stoppers tonight between 5pm and 9pm to speak to Task Force Southern investigators. Okay, in November 2021, Task Force Southern was initiated to investigate the murders of Jeff Mundy, Robert Atkins and Trevor King. What I can say is the investigation today in relation to those, those murders is progressing very, very well. We've had excellent public support with 158 calls to Crime Stoppers. In relation to the death of Robert Atkins or his murder, I can confirm now that we've searched areas around Iru on five occasions. On the last occasion we searched a well on the 21st of June 2022. We're unfortunately yet to locate his remains, but investigators are working extremely hard to identify further search areas to locate those remains. Those searches at Oruru have actually led us to search a property at Boobarawi. At the property at Boobarawi we located nine firearms that were buried on that property. A 60 year old man is currently in custody for possession of those firearms. Forensic analysis of those firearms is continuing and we're hoping that we'll have results soon as to what other persons may be involved in the, in the possession and or use of firearms located at that location. Task Force Southern has now searched 62 premises and we've arrested 27 people, being 19 men and 8 women for a total of 95 charges. The offences that those people have been charged with range from blackmail to serious assaults unlawful detention, firearms offences, money laundering, theft, perverting the course of justice and witness intimidation. We've also seized 500 electronic exhibits and they are still currently being analysed to identify what evidence we have located on them and how we can further the investigation. I ask anyone that has any information in relation to either Jeff's murder, Robert's murder or Trevor's murder to contact Crime Stoppers and speak with investigators this evening. I'll now take any questions. That vision that was released today is underwater. Was that here or was that out in Boobarawi? 
No, that was a well search at Orroroo. There was another video underwater? Yeah, that was a well search that was conducted at Orroroo. In the well? Yes. Okay. How long do you believe Jack was held in that container? It, it's unknown, um, but what we do know is that he was held at this location, and we certainly believe he was. He's escaped from this area, and then subsequent to that escape, he's been murdered some one week, two weeks after. Yeah, we still will believe these remains are on the Fleurieu Peninsula and we're working extremely difficultly to um, identify a location so we can conduct searches there. Can you describe what that site is over there? Um, is it a construction site? Or? So uh, the site uh, is, is a storage yard with a large amount of containers. Uh, there are some businesses within that premises that aren't actually related to this investigation but do obviously rent parts of that area. Um, in the weeks prior to his murder, but we don't know how long he was actually held in that container for. And do you have any reason to suspect that he was hurt or assaulted while he was being held against his will then? I won't comment on that at this stage. Have you arrested anyone over what you've found here today? No, uh, currently we've interviewed a number of people. Uh, because of the nature of the premises, we're actually going to work, we have to work really, really difficultly to prove possession of some of these items. And um, because it is, it is a shared area with obviously lots of people move through that area. The firearm that you found today, is there any reason to believe that could be a murder weapon or any of the other firearms that you've seized as part of this investigation? Um, in relation to the firearms, uh, we can't rule out that some of those firearms or one of those firearms has been used in one of the murders, but until we locate um, the remains of one of the victims, we won't better confirm that. Listen, we've searched extensively up there and, and we'll continue to do that. Um, we're confident that with obviously further public support and the work that's being undertaken by the Task Force Southern Investigators that we will recover his remains. Um, we just need to be patient. There's still a lot of work to be done uh, to progress the investigation. Do you think that maybe you do have any reason to believe that he's not there and you could be searching in the wrong place? Not at this stage, no. Is there anyone that is facing charges already as part of the Task Force Southern that is linked to this property? Like, has a container here or...? Um, no, not, as, not at this stage. Yeah, um, it's obviously extremely difficult for any of these families in this case. Uh, the Major Crime Victim Contact Officer uh, is in regular engagement with the family. It's obviously going to be extremely difficult for Jeff's family in the coming months uh, or coming weeks because on the 19th this year it will be two years since he went, since he went missing. How significant is this find today in the grand scheme of things? Um, listen, we're, we're partially through the search, we'll be here for some time and until the search is complete it'll be difficult for me to say, uh, but there's no doubt, we, we know that people that frequent these premises have knowledge in relation to Jeff's murder and we'll be, as said, forensic response section are here, digital evidence section are here and uh, we'll be gathering as much evidence as we can to progress that investigation, but what I do ask is anyone that has frequented here or has knowledge of Jeff's murder even if they are in fear, they contact the police. We can support them, we can assist them. And uh, I'd like them to do the right thing by the family and actually assist us in locating Jeff's remains. Would you say if there's something to be found here today that links them to this murder, you're going to find it? Listen, we've had 50 police here today. Uh, the search is continuing. The search will be extremely thorough. And we'll certainly be doing it. It will be in our best endeavours to locate any evidence that is at this location. I, I would say that um, anyone that's involved in these murders should be concerned. As I said, we've had excellent public support. We've had 158 calls to Crime Stoppers. We know that people have knowledge. The investigation is progressing very well, and yes, they should be concerned. Was it public information that led you here today? Scene, or you can't... I won't comment on why we're here. Uh, there are chilling sort of similarities to 
mum Dee being held here and Askins also being held against his will. How frightening would it have been for poor mum Dee being held in this container? Oh, listen, I don't think any of us could fathom the fear that you'd be in if you were held against your will. Um, I can't put myself in that position and I'd hope that it, it doesn't happen to other people. And that's why I ask that people that have knowledge around these offences or these murders come forward and assist the police so that we can actually bring the people that have committed these offences to justice. And the people you're looking for are particularly brazen and violent, would you say? Yes, they are violent. They're low-level drug users. They're low-level drug dealers. Um, and you can see by the nature of the offences that we've already investigated and the arrests that have occurred that these people do commit offences of violence. But the police will support anyone that comes forward to assist us. And I, I can't stress that enough, that if people have information, please speak to Task Force Southern Investigators and we'll support you. Thank you. Thank you.